In this short podcast, we will be talking about the concept of operational definitions. Now, operational definitions are defining a concept in terms of how you plan to measure that concept. Let me repeat that. Defining a concept in terms of how you plan to measure that concept. Now, an operational definition is a crucial starting point for any scientific study in psychology, and for that matter, in other scientific fields as well. Some concepts are relatively easy to measure. For example, if we were to operationally define the concept of weight, we could use a scale and operationally define weight as a displacement of this particular scale. Or another easy concept to operationally define would be the concept of length, which could be measured as some extent along a predefined ruler. Now, in psychology, there are many concepts that we are interested in studying, and it is crucial to figure out how to best operationally define these concepts. For example, we might be interested in studying a concept known as happiness. And if we were going to study happiness, the most important thing that we could do at the beginning is determine how we are going to measure happiness. There are many ways we could do this. For example, we could simply record a person's facial expression and use that as a measure of happiness. Or we could record their body posture and in some fashion use body posture as a measure of happiness. Or we could measure some change in their brain chemistry or their brain activity. And that might be a way of measuring happiness. Possibly we could look at cardiac function and changes in heart rate and blood pressure. And of course, probably the simplest and most direct way to measure happiness would be to go out and ask people directly, how happy are you?